founder and director of Africa Steel Holdings, Maylene Kester. The steel industry. Maylene, welcome to the bridge. Thank you so much. You seem so gentle. <laughs> Right? So you yeah. think of steel and you're like steel. And like she seems so gentle. She's mm. like like fragile and oh, please treat her nicely. Yes. Don't harm her. Yes. And here she is, as gentle as she appears to be. She's in this hard industry, the steel industry. Straight into it. What made you interested in being in the steel business? Um, you know, for me steel chose me. Um, I, I'm a firm believer that sometimes, you know, um, you should pursue all opportunities, but you should also just listen to the universe. Hey, um, yay. I, yes, so I was uh, appointed into a steel mold straight out of university, which was not part of my plan. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to be a chartered accountant, mm -hmm. um, and I embraced it. They're the guys who chose me. Um, I learned as much as I could and eventually fell so deep in love with steel, um, it would be very difficult to convince me otherwise. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Maylene, you are still very young. Uh, I'm not going to give away your age, at, at least if you allow me to. But uh, you, you, uh, you go ahead. You are 34, <laughs> still very young. Yay! We're all like. <laughs> yay! It's the year of the 34. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> when did you decide that it was actually time, the right time for you to start this company? Um, so Africa Steel Holdings was born in 2014. Mm. Um, you know, I'd spent 10 years working in the industry. Um, obviously, you know, the political environment, uh, the social environment, I think just sort of, you know, laid down the, the platform for me to be brave. Mm. You know, so I appreciate a lot what's happening in our environment and I thought, why not me? Yeah. Mm. And why not in an industry that I love? Yeah. And um, yes, I named her Africa Steel Holdings, a very Stunning. big name. Mm -hmm. Very big you name. You know, yes. I like um, how you say, I named her. She's mm. a her, yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah she's a her. Yeah. Mm. Um, I named her Africa Steel Holdings, and on purpose, mm. I want her, you know, to be a major player on the African continent. I so love our continent and in the steel industry. Mm -hmm. um, and steel can sort of be. Um, you know, the synonym for steel is metals. Mm -hmm. yes. So I'd also like to go into metals and mining, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. all related to steel and the production of steel. Mm -hmm. what, what exactly is the company doing right now? It's steel and is, yes. does it fall, also fall under construction? And Well, we supply the construction yeah. industry. Yeah. Yes, so um, we manage um, um, two manufacturing facilities, mm. one which is which I'm more involved in, I run, that's the business I run, it's called R.E.C. Avello, we manufacture rebar. Um, What's rebar? Rebar is the steel that, um, you know, is laid before you pour the cement. Ah. It solidifies yes. what would be a foundation of yes. whatever you're erecting. Absolutely, okay. whether it's a high-rise building, whether it's a dam, a reservoir, yes. okay. um, substations, okay. power stations, sure. you know, we supply we supply everyone. It's a woman-run business. You, when you walk in there, you'll find me hands-on with good. my partners and female women, partners, female partners, wow. um, as well as male partners. Yeah. So you know what? We need the guys. We do need the guys. No, in all yeah. honesty, yeah. I like so that. Yeah. yeah. Let's. Uh, I am not masculine, yeah. and I'm not going to try to be masculine. I appreciate my partner, who's a male, who mm -hmm. plays his role in our business, so that we can go out there winning more business there we go you know so um as much as we are profiled as black women owned and we are structured as black women owned we are actually black owned and um you know black people managing serious business oh, managing yeah. you're serious profusing business. both genders right absolutely that's good yeah. so let's go back to your history your first job was an accounting officer yes um <laughs> accounting officer okay, okay. to steal <laughs> and steal okay. mm. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Um, were you still thinking of having a business when you were busy doing your accountancy stuff? Not at all. Yeah. Not at who all. were you then? Um, you know, I was I was a young person who I think. Um, so there are a number of things I want to address. You mm -hmm. know, um, as an individual, um, you know, in terms of just 
access of information mm -hmm. of our, our, our children, mm -hmm. you know, to careers. Mm -hmm. We are so limited in the township, mm -hmm. you know, yes. in terms of access to information. You're from Absolutely. the Northwest, right? Um, no, no, no. I, You're I, not. You're only from the A yes, and yeah. the Northwest. The South of Johannesburg, okay. a place called Innerdale, which okay. is right next mm -hmm. to Spittal. Yeah. yeah. And um, so we are also, our, I think our education system does not encourage entrepreneurship. You know, um, so so yes, I I had a few options available to me: being mm. an accountant, being a doctor, being a pharmacist, mm. you know, being a lawyer, mm. um, and and so I was employed in the steel industry as an accountant. But when I saw the product, felt the product, saw it being manufactured, I thought this is where I want to be. Mm. You know, you know, when you see production of steel, it's like gold. Mm. Mm. It's stunning. It's mm -hmm. so beautiful. You guys need to see her when she's <laughs> passionate. She's yeah. so <laughs> passionate. Like her eyes light up yeah. and her face has that glow yes. up. Yes, yeah. absolutely. So, um, yeah, uh, it, it, it was never part of my plan, mm -hmm. you know, to, to be an entrepreneur. But I think after 10 years, I gained the confidence around the product. Mm. I know the product. And I thought, why? Why not me? I can do this. I like what you mentioned there, that we are limited to an access of information, um, particularly in the townships, mm -hmm. um, referencing what you said. What can we do about it? How can we open up that industry to open up access to information? Yeah. And that's we now, you know, it's, it's biblical. You are blessed to be a blessing. Absolutely. You know, mm -hmm. um, if you are able to break through in whatever part of your life needs that extra effort. Mm -hmm. Once you break through, it's your responsibility to go back mm. and give back. And help others break yeah. down. Yeah, yeah. carry but the people, baton. Yes, we, mm. we think it's about money. It's not about money. Mm. It's about inspiration. There we go. It's about going, if you make a decision, or if we all make the decision to just go back to the communities that we had grown up in, your primary school, your high school, mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. university, mm -hmm. you have done so much. Agreed. You know, so mm. I jump at the opportunity to speak. In the, in the beginning, I, I hit. I was like, oh, I'm not shy, ready for this. I'm shy. Yeah, yeah. But now you do. Quite frankly, it's time to get out there. Well, thank you so much. It's 20 minutes after 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, it is a Wednesday, your Wednesday edition of Spotlight on the bridge, exclusive to Metro FM. We're hanging with the powerhouse Maylene Keister, Keister, director and founder of Africa Steel Holdings. You're seeking inspiration. We have it right here for you.